Hungry? Of course you are. If not now, then in a bit. That's why you'll soon find yourself browsing my warehouse of acceptable sustenance. Food's the one thing that everyone has to buy over and over every week till they're dead. And since eating habits don't change quickly and a given area's population is fairly stable, we have a pretty good idea how much food we're gonna sell every week. So we stock twice that to confuse your brain about how much food exists and trick you into buying too much. Part of the way we measure success is by how many brightly colored bags of calories we throw away. If our waste is too low, then we simply truck several thousand tons of nourishment boxes across thousands of miles so we can display it on our shelf for a couple of weeks, then take it off that shelf and throw it in the dumpster. Then we lock that dumpster shut to make sure nobody gets our trash without paying for it. We want to make sure we have all the stuff you didn't know you wanted. That's why we let companies buy specific shelf space for their brightly colored calorie bags. See? You didn't even know you wanted these. But now do you ever? Mm. Eh. Ever notice that every sustenance warehouse you've ever been to has fresh fruit and vegetables to the right of the entrance? We do that because we know you can't help but shop in a counterclockwise circle. And fresh fruit and vegetables give you a good feeling about yourself and the rest of your more unhealthy purchases. By the way, this is just in America. In the UK, Australia, Japan, people shop clockwise. Nobody knows why. Communism? <laughs> anyway, go ahead and grab a bag of sweet and succulent tree fetuses. They're just gonna rot on your counter anyway, so you feel like you've earned that ground corn and salt in a bright red bag, because the color red makes you hungry. Those soon-to-be-rotten tree fetuses make you feel it is morally correct for you to give me money for it. Oh, I would put those tomatoes into a plastic bag because that metal food cage you're pushing around is packed with poop. Human poop. Human poop from every toddler who's been in that store for the past forever because nobody washes the food cages. Nobody ever washes the poop off the food cages. <laughs> Too busy keeping your hands clean, mm -hmm. sir. So come on down to the sustenance warehouse and buy some ocean meat that has a 66% chance of being the kind of fish it says it is or some fruit that's been dyed to look more appetizing at the expense of its natural flavor, or some cow flesh that, well, will be good for another week and a half. You see, sometimes when these numbers no longer correspond with a date in the future, I just cover them up with numbers that do correspond with a date in the future. Even though I have more food than I know what to do with, and even though I'm expected to throw it away, these rules both make no sense and might be poisoning you. But unless you convince yourself to join a community garden, which you won't, I'm your only option. And remember, no matter which warehouse of basically acceptable sustenance you visit, we're, we're all, all exactly, exactly the same. same. Shop, Shop from us or starve, starve to death. If you like stand-up, come see the Cracked Stand-Up Show. It's happening March 23rd at Meltdown Comics in Los Angeles. If you want to see amazing stand-up comedians, including our own Tom Ryman, go to nerdmeltla.com tickets. And if you want to see me without a shirt on, you're rude. <laughs> <laughs>